Yeah, Donnie, Daphne here. How are you? Thank you for sending in your next essays. Well done on your corrections, which look fantastic. Well done for keeping going, working. I know it's a hard world at the moment, isn't it? And um, we have just been locked down for even longer. So I think everyone's feeling pretty low today. Uh, okay, anyway, come on, let's uh, do this. So essay titles, yes, these are absolutely all essay titles that have been seen before. Uh, recently, we changed these every three months or so, according to the new titles that we've given by our students. So yes, they're up to date. Uh, search on the website if you want to look at other essay titles, just to get an idea of the range of topics. There's a lot of topics that they ask you about, and some are very strange. Uh, so pollution are becoming worse. What are the reasons and how can this be solved? So problem solution essay. I love your start here. During the last decade, pollution has become a fast growing concern, not only for environmental activists, S, but lately also for governments. Contamination has been referred as a global public health emergency by the WHO. Yep. Um, rather than maybe take out that just simply because we've got World Health Organization. So global public emergency by the World Health Organization. Environmental experts had point out, now careful on the grammar there, that grammar is not correct, okay? You want to have have pointed, just present perfect, out the main causes to this problem, such as a rapid increase on world of, um, would be in actually, in the world population, and the effects that this has, good, on the environment. So here would be on the environment. Watch out these little prepositions, like air pollution and waste, increased waste, all the way around. Okay, these solutions are opposed by those. Okay, how about possible solutions directly implicate, just making it a little bit uh, more concise, a bit tighter, Possible solutions directly implicate governments, big companies, and individuals. Nice. This essay will discuss. Okay, super start. Very good. Okay. How long is this? It's too long. <laughs> yes, my friend, it's too long. <laughs> okay. But I'm liking it. I mean, I really like it. But can you do that in 40 minutes? Have you timed yourself? On one hand, the two more minutes. Okay. Um, Okay, I mean, maybe you could say there are two main reasons. I mean, rather than on the one hand, on the other hand, just go, um, just take that out. There are two main reasons. Um, or the first problem is that, something like that. World population has increased. Which has on present perfect. Check this. Dramatically in the last decades, exacerbating the environment. Um, now, again, you can tighten this. Just put the simple word as great environmental resources. You, I mean, I know this is in the template, but you don't need to have it, Adani, because your writing is beautiful. This is really at the beginning when we're trying to organize the essay, but your essay has great shape now. So this is equally good, like almost better because it's very natural. Exacerbating the environment as great environmental resources are needed, are needed in order to attend to intend to we need preposition there the demands of larger populations with overcrowded cities comma the green areas and parks are reduced and those spaces are taken by private cars and buildings uh, creating air toxicity good okay so you could have here additionally contamination created by large industries that do not have contamination is created so here, present perfect. Watch out on present perfect. This, oh, so hold on. This is passive. Okay. This is present passive is created by, but the other is used with the present perfect. So a good, nice one on the passive there. For example, many environmental activists had accused the farming industry to be one of the main resources that create land and air toxicity, caused by dumping their waste, don't need that, directly into rivers or land. Knowing that overcrowded cities and large use um, 
um, you don't need that sentence at all. It doesn't quite work. Okay, I, I just take it out because you wouldn't have let's analyze. Yeah, that would be a bit strange. On the other hand, environmental issues. Okay, okay, so such environmental. Okay, it's not really on the one hand. On the other hand, is it there? This is bothering me a bit because that's okay for advantages, disadvantages. Problem solution is a bit different. So I would start. There are two main reasons. Take out that, and then put how. So here, um, however, because you're becoming a bit more positive. However, issues that the world faces today, or is facing today, no, you're good. Could only be tackled by be tackled passive again. This is an infinitive passive by cutting levels. Yes, well done. Okay, so and your beginning start with. There are two main reasons for the problem. Okay, let's put this in green. Okay, and then, however, so come into this for your solutions. Okay, this can be done when governments across the world create new policies to regulate air toxicity and waste disposal. Disposal. If the use, uh, not used, uh, used as an adjective, is the use. Or private cars in cities could be reduced air toxicity. Yes, will will passive again here decreased noticeably. Yes, very very nice. Good. Uh, will be be decreased. Uh, up from there. Uh, noticeably, it should be an adverb just with a y on the end. But good work on the grammar. Really good work on the grammar. For example, a big populated area. Big, big. Hmm, significantly populated area in downtown Toronto has reduced their CO2 putting more lime, I think they're called lime, um, but you could say bikes for rent because you might not know what that is. A more effective transportation system. It's clear that governments have a lot to have, uh, again, not lots, uh, have responsibilities to solve these issues. Okay. Consequently, it can be said that overpopulation in large industries are some of the main reasons behind the environmental crisis we are facing now. In order to tackle those areas, um, the implication of governments, maybe you say governments are implicated in obligation, obligation, slightly hard, obligation of governments, okay? If, yes, well done. Now, and if they create, yes, will be reduced, or because you've had the first conditional before, if they created, it would be, yeah, so then you're showing a second conditional with the past tense there, which just adds a bit of variety. Super work on the grammar. Really, really good effort on that. I really noticed a huge improvement there. Well done. Watch out for um, your present perfects, okay? Watch out for those. Because that is quite important. So here we go. Bar graph shows the sale for three different car brands: Ford, Audi, BMW, in nine different countries. Perfect. In 2018, Hungary was the country with the most sales. Lovely. Uh, almost at four. You can just write it like this. It's okay. The three brands followed by France, Germany, and had similar amounts of sales. Yep. Belgium were the countries that hmm, commercialized less. Belgian, what did it say? Belgians and Italians were the countries where consumers purchased less cars. Yeah, so change it from the name of the country to the name of the people. Otherwise, very nice. Uh, <laughs> um, France, Hungary, Germany, and Ireland had similar market for sales of BMW, spelling cars um, at just over, whereas Germany and Hungary, um, <clears throat> so past tense here. Um, uh, Harris, rather than have all the time, witness is a good word, registered, uh, or recorded. Write down those words for task one because they're really useful for most of the essays actually, rather than had or showed. Similar sales on Audi. Hungry? Um, I wouldn't use appears because you're going into the present tense there. 
So, um, so what do you have here? While Hungary had equal sales for both brands, in contrast, most cars sold in Belgium and Ford. Um, uh, okay, while, so link this together. So Hungary, um, okay, while well, Hungary appeared to have equal sales for each brand, comma, in contrast, most cars sold in Belgium were Ford. Okay, comma, whereas in Italy, they were BMW. So we could make a lovely sentence in here, adding in, uh, I'm using these words, while, and then whereas, and in contrast. So make sure you, again, you must use these words, because that helps you on the coherence, and it just joins the, uh, your data together. In contraposition, the, uh, where here you have to where the less popular less or least okay overall no overall is clear that the number of cars sold in literally you could have clear that Hungarians The highest cars, whereas Belgians um, bought those. Something very simple. <clears throat> you don't need to do any more than that. You've done a very good job. That's really clear. Well done. Just try and add in that kind of good language because that's kind of what we're looking for. And also comments like uh, sales of. Uh, uh, Audi in the UK were three times or four times lower than those in Hungary. Uh, make your comparisons between these little things as well, where you've got an obvious contrast. Okay, uh, so three times higher than those of somewhere. Okay, but otherwise, super good work. Well done. I will send you a link to the speaking. It's really fun. Okay, thanks.